right now, the Early Show Lifestyle contributor, Katie Lee, making a beautiful buffet with some farm stand fruits and veggies. Good morning. Good morning, Harry. We do love this time of year. Oh my gosh. Go to the farmer's it's market. It's the greatest. Yeah. You have to go to your local farmer's market or farm stand and get some of this beautiful produce. It's gorgeous. And there's so many things at the farmer's market that you can find that you wouldn't find at a regular grocery store, like these beautiful heirloom They're tomatoes. Beautiful. So special. Look at that. Or look at these. I found these yesterday. What is They're this? Kermit eggplants. Kermit? I'd never even heard of Kermit. such a thing, but yeah. don't they look really cool? Those are very so cool. So just, you know, roast them with a little olive oil and salt. It's perfect. perfect. Yeah. And donut peaches. I love donut so peaches. So beautiful. You, you know, know what else though? I mean just the, this this time of year, you pick up a piece of fruit. You smell so good. It's not the thing that's been refrigerated all winter it's long. It's wonderful. It's so much mm. better environmentally speaking ah, also because yeah. everything's local. And uh, you're also supporting your own local economy. You're going to get more vitamins and minerals because your fruit didn't take as long oh. to get to your plate. Oh, okay. So it's really, really good. You've got to go out. I all can't right. encourage you enough. And if you don't know where your local farmer's market is, go to localharvest.org, type in your zip code, and, and it'll pull show it right you. up. All yeah. right. So the great thing about summer produce is that you really don't don't have to do anything to it. Right. So everything that I'm going to show you today, you actually don't cook the fruits or vegetables. Ooh, we like that a lot. So the first up is zucchini carpaccio. And right. I mean, this looks so special. And see how easy it is? Hold that mandolin. Yeah, I'm you afraid of these. You can pick up these mandolins really for like 10 bucks. Don't I'm be afraid, afraid Harry. So take it and just run that over it. Okay, see the zucchini, how it comes out just like a little paper chip? And you just kind of layer them over each other. Harry, did you cut yourself? Oh no. I told you. Oh no, Harry. Oh no, I injured Harry. Okay. All right, so a little olive oil. Are you okay? Do we need to get a band aid? Oh my God. I'm good. I'm good. I knew that was going to happen. I knew that was going to happen. Oh, I'm Keep so talking. sorry. I'm so sorry. You got to be really careful with the mandolin. Yes, be very careful with the mandolin. Okay. Next up is hard to make. This is a first, I think, for one of our okay. early shows. You need, to, you need to go get a bandage. I'm going to go get a piece of ice. I'm going to oh hang out gosh. with Katie. This is really, okay. really bad. I am well, not hi, touching Erica. any of your kitchen tools. Okay, I won't ask you to grate any Parmesan or anything. Okay, so chopped tomatoes yep. with olive oil and some garlic. Mm -hmm. That's all you do to it. You don't cook it. Take the hot pasta out okay. of the water. And this hot pasta is going to cook our tomatoes. Ooh. So that's all it takes. I tell you, I think I can, I smell the garlic, but I think I smell those tomatoes too. They smell so, I so love good. Fresh tomatoes and if you want to, this requires no um, cutting or anything. If you want to tear some basil I love leaves it. in there, that's nice. Fresh and easy. basil. So some tear of my that favorite in there. summer things. And some fresh Parmesan cheese. This tastes really good, just room temperature mm -hmm. or cold. So it's really good if you're going to a barbecue and you want to take something with you as a smell side that dish. Basil too. And that kind of doubles as a main if anybody's a vegetarian. Perfect. So down here we have a corn salad. I don't even cook. The corn. It's so sweet right now. Do you just chop so it right off? I just chop it right off. And if you put your corn in a bowl like this and slice it. Yes, because we're all about safety tips now this morning. <laughs> everything goes right in. I okay. know I feel so bad. Poor Harry. Okay, so black beans, chopped red bell pepper, red onions, jalapeno. I made a little lime vinaigrette Ooh. with lime juice and olive oil. It all goes in together. You could put some avocado in there if you want. Stir it up. There we go. And then I've got some macerated peaches and plums. Just slice your plums and peaches, add some sugar to it, let them stand for a couple hours, mm -hmm. and they make their own juices, this beautiful syrup over vanilla ice cream. We're and in. That's all. We are going to test it all out in just a moment.